Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to do a little haul that I got from Home Bargains this morning. I don't know about anyone else, I'm still one of those people that's a bit nervous going in and out of shops, being too close to people. I get quite anxious so I did go like first thing in the morning which either gets you extra bargains or means you miss out on things when they're being restocked so I do think there's a bit of give and take in that but here's what I found anyway. Um, so I'm going to start with my wooden shoe rack. I don't know if anyone else is excited about this. This was only $2.99 and I think I'm going to paint it and just make it super pretty. I think it would be great as like shelving for shoe boxes but also you could use it for other things so long as it's not so small it like falls through the cracks. So like different makeup products if I'm putting that in like pull out boxes or stuff like that or gifts. I'm the sort of person that buys gifts in advance. We need to talk about what kind of crazy I am. Um, I have a drawer full of gift products for Christmas. Like I have everyone's Christmas apart from my dad's like sorted already. But that's for shoes. And it was like 2 dollars which is amazing. The next thing that I got that's like technically not really fashion and beauty, which is obviously what my channel is mainly about, but kind of is, was this mirror, um, which is giving like a horrible view of me right now, but it is. <laughs> there's, my, there's my little mirror too. So it is an industrial mirror. It's called, it's got like little sort of beveled edges. It's kind of plasticky around the outside, which isn't amazing, but it was £3.99. This is definitely... Um, I'm pretty sure this is glass. Does it tell me for sure if it's glass? That's a good question. I mean, it doesn't. But to be honest, I don't really care. Like if I put it right in front of my face, I can see each side of my eye as well as see my full face. So when I'm doing eye looks and shooting them for Instagram or just like making sure my liner matches, like it's gonna be really obvious. And I'm gonna get my lights from London. I'm getting all my stuff from London, but my lights are something I'm really excited about. And I'm just gonna put them round the mirror so I have that proper mirror to get ready in. You know, we all want the same sort of type, that sort of Hollywood mirror vibe. Um, talking of which, but kind of not, just briefly, there are stick-on bulbs you can get for any mirror you already own and you get them on Amazon and they're great. I have a few friends that have got them. I want them. I'm just not getting them yet because it's not my setup yet. I don't know where I'm going to be. I'm all over the place. Back to my haul. <laughs> I'm going to do like the non-fashion beauty stuff first because I cannot physically go into a home bargain store without picking up snacks. I actually think it's a genuine problem. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me, but like, I don't know if it's because you have to kind of go near the aisle, but I'm like, I just get so excited. So I have a box, like a full on, like, can you hear that noise? I put it all in a box so I can show you all of the snacks I got. And they're not just for me, like I am a pie. I'm not gonna lie, you can see. Um, but they're not just for me. Some of these are actually specifically for my dad. But the first thing I got that's like food is this. Like everyone's talking about this on Facebook. If you've not heard of it, you are behind. It's the Mayflower Medium Curry Sauce Mix. And I actually got the extra hot as well because I like a bit of spice. I actually got two of the extra hot and one of the medium. It costs 99 pounds for a box. One box, if you're making meals for two to three people, will last three meals. Um, maybe even more depending on whether or not you don't like things like with a lot of the sauce like I like things to be quite too saucy <laughs> what a weird sentence but whatever point is it's amazing it's a great dupe can't believe I'm using the word dupe for food but it's a great dupe for an actual Chinese curry sauce and it's low calorie so it's just like just ticks all the boxes so I definitely picked up that and then I found this as well. So this is a Bourneville dark chocolate and orange and it's only a pound a bar. People are reselling this on like Amazon for like 45 pound for 12 bars and all this nonsense because it was like a limited edition product. But they had it there for 99 pence. They also had the rum and raisin one. I don't like rum and raisin, so I didn't get it. But just in case anyone else was like, I wonder if they have. Like they did have that other limited edition one as well. Um, so I actually, I got two and I may already have eaten some. It's just like addictive. So, so good. Um, and then I also saw, I don't know if anyone remembers these, the rainbow drops. So this is a unicorn edition. I, don't, I think it's just because it's got a picture of a unicorn on it because the colors are obviously the same, like no matter what. But like, I remember these from when I was a kid, we used to go to the ice cream van, you'd be able to get like rainbow drops or you'd get them from like the corner shop. 
Um, and I just saw them and I was like, I want those. I shouldn't go anywhere when I'm hungry is what we've learned. Um, I also got like just some silly little snacks. These are like pretzel pieces and salted cashews. Um, I got them for like my dad and my mum mainly. I'm 100% gonna eat most of the cashews. I don't even know why I'm lying. And I got these as well. So these are by Grace. These were a pound 50. Um, and it's like a mix of different, so this is a barbecue and this is a lightly salted. Um, and they're just great, like if you're sitting in the garden having a beer. So it was quite sunny for most of the day and like it's hopefully gonna be sunny again, but it's Scotland, so like who knows when. Um, but it's just so nice to have like something to kind of like nibble on. And my sister had got my dad this amazing gift for Father's Day. Like she's such a better daughter than I am. Um, but she got him this like beer hamper and it had these little tins and it had these peanuts and stuff in it. And he just really liked that. So I thought, you know, like why not get like little snacky things that my dad can have? Because we always have something for the rest of us. Um, talking of the rest of us, I got these jalapeno and cheese mac flavored waters crisps and i'm so it says uh, it says they're extra hot i didn't notice that so maybe my mom won't eat those with me but we'll see um i love anything spicy it's just like i don't know my personality type but it's not always good for you but yeah so i always got tons of snacks i actually held myself back believe it or not it was only when i was leaving that i was like wow like 50% of the list I have here is just snack food um so now let's talk about the fashion and beauty stuff that I got so it's obviously mainly beauty um because it's home bargains like I'm not buying any clothes in home bargains um the first thing that I got that I'm actually mildly disappointed in um is this so I love the provoke um it's a touch of silver brightening shampoo I use it obviously because I dye my hair blonde can you tell it's not original um it's really really good and it helps me so much and it was four pounds and I thought oh my god it's a great deal because it says RRP eight pounds um but then I actually went online after I got home and it's in the um it's in super drug for four pound ten pence so that would only be a saving of 10p um and it's actually in the half price summer sale for boots and it's two pound ten pence so I actually spent more money buying this from home bargains than I would buy it in boots and the worst bit is I went into boots like right after and I bought the um, scalp scrub from Umberto Gianni. Um, I heard it's meant to be good for hair growth, but just because I felt like I've got like, I don't know, build up from like all the products that I have been using and I wanted to give it a try. Um, so I could have picked up this shampoo then and there, but now that I've got it home, like I'm probably not gonna try and return it or whatever, like have to take the L, but it upsets me. But everything else excites me, so it's gonna be good. So what excites me? First thing I found was this, and honestly, it's probably gonna make my hair look so brassy, so I don't even know why I was excited, but I love anything that makes me sparkly or shimmery, so like, I'm so in. And it is the Schwarzkopf Live Precious Metals Golden Glimmer Metallic Spray. So basically, in this bottle, if I'd let it separate, but I can't, because I just keep playing with it, um, it's like hairspray, and then at the bottom, you would see that there is color pigmentation in there. And when I spray it, it should evenly spray like glittery gold goodness all over my hair. And I got it for 69 pounds. These originally retailed for, I think it was five pounds. Um, I did look it up and now I've completely forgotten. But basically like 69 pence is a steal and it's one wash. So basically if I put it on my hair and I'm like, oh my God, what is it like yellow? <laughs> then I can just wash it off, like go for a shower. I would do it just now, but I don't wanna. <laughs> I actually applied something else in my hair really recently, so I'll show you that last because that actually has me gassed. Um, this is the Eyelure Texture Pre-Glued Lashes. Now these retail for £7, they are £2.15 in home bargains at the moment. I went for the ones, it says it's messed up gorgeousness which will lightly and beautifully elongate your eyes. So it's like the sort of catty kind of look. So with the shorter lashes on the inside to the longer lashes at the outside. I don't know if you can see that quite clearly. Yeah, you can, good. Um, I'm not gonna put them on right now, but what I can do is use them in my next makeup look. I've never used pre-glued lashes before. I'm actually decent at putting on like my own lashes. I used to wear them all the time when I was younger. Like I used to always do my tan. I used to always have like long false lashes and stuff like that. And then I just, I don't know what happened. Like I just changed my life. I just changed my mind about everything. And 
I've just not done them for so long, but I did them in like one of my last eye looks and it was so easy. I was just like, bam, here it is. If you struggle though, I would get one of the lash application tools because it really helps, like it does. Um, next thing I got is the EOS Shimmer Lip Balm. This retails for £6.50 and it was £1.99. Now, if you don't recognise the name, you'll probably recognise the picture. It's these circle ones. I'll just open it actually and let you see. Um, but they do sell for £6.50, like kind of across the board. This one is like a shimmer one. Oh, it's so loud. I'm sorry. So this one's a shimmer one which I just thought was exciting because on the days where you're maybe wanting to rest your face, like I don't have any makeup on today because I just like wasn't feeling it. Um, you can use something like this to, um, I don't know, just feel like a little bit prettier. Like, do you know how like you, you don't want to look like a bum, like you still want to look put together, but not necessarily have all the makeup on. So the idea is you do this and you've applied it to both lips at the same time. And I don't know if you can see that, but there is like a bit of a shimmer to my lips. It's so weird when I do that. I think you can probably see it. I hope you can. It's not too scented, but it's quite nicely scented. But yeah, I just thought that was like an amazing bargain. Um, I like lip balms in general and it's so handy to just like shove in your bag and it, it's just kind of cute. Like. I don't even know why I like it so much, but it's just kind of cute. The thing that I really loved though, other than the mirror, like I'm, I keep thinking about how good a deal that was, like $3.99 for a mirror, like don't even, but this, Tony and Guy, it's called the Finishing Shine Spray Lasting Gloss and Hold. Um, I did spray a bit on my hair earlier, so you might already notice that it's like a bit sheenier than normal. I do think that it's really good. I don't want to spray too much of it because like I'm going in for a shower and I hate the feeling of washing off like a hairspray. So I'd rather like wear it and like get the use of it. But basically that cost me a pound 99 and it's supposed to retail at eight pound 25. It is on promotion in Boots at the moment. So it's a bit less than that. I think it's about five pound, but still like a good saving and like Tony and Guy products in general are really good. The smell isn't overwhelming. Yeah, it's like, um, it's kind of just like a hairspray smell, but it's like less intense. Um, I use the, um, El Net. Is that the name? The really fancy gold one. That's the one I use in my hair because I don't like the feeling of, like, crispy hair. I used to use, like, the big, like, cheeky ones and my hair would just be, like, I mean, it would stay, but it would be so crispy and I, like, I think I've just put myself off, like, the stronger hold ones. So I really like the fancy gold one and I really like this because although it's like I can feel like it's got a little hold and it's like doing something like it's not like that overwhelming like you can feel it on your hands like I feel comfortable touching my own hair basically I hate the feeling of like hairspray or like that intense smell of hairspray but yeah so that was like my haul from home bargains and I'm like so chuffed I spent in total 28 pounds and like I don't know 57 pence something like that um, and everything was just such a good deal apart from the shampoo, but like I'll use a ton of it anyway, so like it's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try it all out. Um, if you've got any really good deals recently at Home Bargains, please comment below. I'd love to hear about it, especially if it's something fun and makeup related, because I'll keep an eye out for it myself next time I go. Um, but otherwise, I hope you like this. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I just noticed you can still see this from my Poundland video. This won't come off, so like if you do watch the timeline video, you'll see what this is. Um, you'll realise that it's a really, I guess, amazing product because it's not leaving. But yeah, hit subscribe. Um, thank you for watching.